the argument is sometimes raised that God gave us freedom of choice. The Bible is about freedom of choice. We should not impose on a woman what she does with the baby in a room. That is her choice. God gives us freedom. Whoopi Goldberg has said this publicly. God gave us freedom of choice. And now Reverend Al Sharpton has raised a similar argument. Let's listen to his comments. The Bible, if you're using this as a religious argument, the Bible is about choice. You can go to heaven or hell. There's no way in the Bible said you had to go to heaven. So where do we get this theology of forcing something when the reality is that you can't even biblically base that? It's a question of choice. If you are a minister as I am, you can preach to people to convert them. You do not make laws to compel them. Yeah, he's exactly right. We don't make laws to compel people to believe in Jesus, to believe in God. We don't make laws for those things. And we don't make laws to compel people to do other good things and right things. And, and in fact, if you want to go home and drink alcohol until you pass out, you can do that. If you're old enough to buy it, you can go home and drink it until you pass out. You can choose to do that. But we have laws against drinking and driving that if you get drunk, it is against the law to drive. Why? Because now you are making choices that affect other people. In the same way, it's, it's illegal in our society to possess or use heroin. The decision has been made that, that this is in the worst interest of society as a whole, so laws are made. I mean, in fact, laws are made on many things. Don't murder, don't steal. That's to stop people from doing wrong because what they are doing is affecting other people. So the issue here is the baby within the mother's womb. Yeah, you can tattoo your body if you want. You can pierce your body if, if you want. You can shave your head if you want, but you can't go up to someone else and just decide you're going to do that too. You're going to tattoo their body. No, sorry, you can't do that. You're just going to pierce someone else's body. Why? Because it's somebody else's body. So when it comes to abortion, there is a body within the woman's body. And that's why we say that the law should say that she should, she should not be able, enabled to legally take the life of the baby. So yes, freedom of choice. God says to us, choose this day whom you're going to serve. This is throughout the scripture. Choose, 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 choose. And there are consequences, good or bad, for the choices that we make. Those are choices for ourselves. When it comes to a choice that is going to affect the life and well-being of another individual, of another human being, then we have laws to protect them. So to use the Bible, which affirms that every human being is created in the image of God, that there is personhood already for the baby within the womb and destiny already for the baby in the womb, and that that baby in the womb is carefully formed and crafted by God, that tells us then that you should pass laws to protect that life, that baby in the womb. If you want to use the Bible, use it rightly. Hey, friends, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, click on one of the boxes on the screen, check out another one of our videos, and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. You know, we discovered that about 60% of you that are watching our videos aren't subscribers. So subscribe today. Doesn't cost you a dime. And if you want to support our work, Line of Fire, and all the things that we do, follow one of the links on the screen below.